Hi, this is Chris from Campbell Brothers. I'm here to talk to you about the one. Um, this is our seven to eight inch all mountain uh, do it all frame. Hence the name, the one. This is set up in seven inch mode right here. The difference is just the lower hole puts you into eight inch mode. It runs a two and three quarter by eight three quarter rear shock. Usually stocked with the Fox coil. It runs the best. This is a sub eight pound frame with the coil. So uh, pretty much the lightest eight inch frame on the market. Um, run inch and eight uh, steer tube. You know, uh, single butted uh, seven thousand series aluminum. This link is actually a hollow tubular link. This has a, a, a Mobius tube in it, the tube with the rib inside. The same as this uh, chain stay as well. Comes with a 135 quick release rear hub. Um, has really big, stout um, ISCG taps for running like these kind of bash guards. You can see in here, look how thick these are. So, works really well with the Hammerschmidt. Spike shifts really well and rides really well in a 22 tooth chain line. So, Hammerschmitts are going to feel great standing or sitting. So, you're ready to go. This frame's really hot. The suspension we, has been dubbed the one. I, I don't know who. But uh, it really is cool because we set it up to where it has more of a mechanical lock that locks it into its pedal stroke. It just, after sag, it just sits there. And, uh, between this, the 22 and the 32 ch two chain ring, standing or sitting, this bike just doesn't move. It just propels you forward. It's unbelievable. It has a small little lock into its spot, and that little lock spot helps you like grab traction as you're trying to get bumps and go up into like really hard climbs. This bike you can also get with a 135 by 12 Maxxle. It's the same price, uh, comes with the Maxxle, you're ready to go. And uh, it's pretty much the same weight, we call it the Stouter in. You can also get this with the white anodized, but all the frames come in this blue gray um, setup with the laser. And then the links, we have 12 link colors. The links are shared between all four of the bikes. Um, this suspension model is basically the light. So we also make a 5 and 6 called the Sauce, which comes in a, a champagne, um, kind of goldish um, powder coat, or excuse me, anodized. So in this bike, we also have the strong version, kind of like a more jumpable, all-mountain, um, free ride, light free ride, but it's, it's called the Candigle. A um, little bit different, more of an XTR gray anodized on it. This is the purple set of links. This one's set in 8 inch travel right now. Um, same kind of chain guide setup. ICG tab's really big. Has tons of travel for downhill. As you can see, it comes with the, the maxil rear end on it. Um, this has the Mobius tube up here as well, where the upper stay on that one is just a regular stack. But a little bit different machining on here. The 1.5 heavy duty tube set, same shock. So this one's a good setup for a guy that needs to climb up to the top all the time, does a lot of all-mountain, and uh, wants to be able to drop stuff too. Um, I've dropped this off at uh, a mushroom knock, so you, know, you can pretty much hop as, as much as you need, but this is an all-mountain bike. Um, not necessarily like down the top, but pretty close. But it's 8.95 with the you know, quarter pound maxle in it, and their shock is still straight. So pretty much the second lightest eight inch bike on the market. This also comes in the lighter travel one, the five and six. It's called the Can Can. And the Can Can is a silver ammo, straight top tube, really short, really low. Like our small comes with a 13 inch um, top tube or seat tube with nine inches of seat tube adjustment. So it's really low right on right on top of the shock. And then you know the small or the medium and large and taller, but same setup, maxle in the back right there. These ones only come with the maxle. But you know, big strong hangers, they don't really bend, I never really sell them. And to make sure you see the other hanger, check this hanger out. On the one we did this really cool hanger that has a little uh a swivel ridge that comes down to keep this thing from bending because it's right above where your uh, derailleur bolts in. I haven't bent one of these yet either. 